What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make some dark ethnic trap beats. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so first things first, we need to drag in uh, a scale. So we can use a harmonic minor for stuff like this. Uh, it tends to be a little bit easier. Um, so we're gonna go here, just drag this in. And if we need to transpose, we will. So we, we're in a D sharp, okay? Um, and we're gonna start with our bell. So this is like a little simple little bell, okay? Um, so let's go in here and pretty much what I like to do is just make kind of like a baseline melody. Uh, so we use the thirds for this, this tend to be a good uh, grid for this. Um, and with the harmonic minor, now it's a little bit, of, it's a little bit different. I don't I personally, I don't like using some of the same tricks on here. So I you just use my ear to start off. So you could do this, right? But to get the sound I really like, usually you just want to start off with like a note that you like so let me see let's zoom in and i just want to get like kind of a nice little rhythm first something that repeats okay i like that it's a little too melodic, but I think I'm gonna run with it. Then let's see if we can cheat just by letting this, let's put the root here. So it meshes well. Let's see if we can get away with this. Okay, so we'll just have to throw some processing on this to kind of mask that high end so i think this is good um let's take this oops and then pull this up you know simple little pattern in the beginning we won't need all this space i just want to do something quick let's just play it okay i like that it's pretty smooth so now we can go ahead and move on to the next instrument so now i'm gonna use the flute um, I wanted to use a guitar, but I feel like I always use a guitar. So I'm gonna use the flute as kind of like the main. Um, so this is what I have for the flute. Uh, it'll let me drag down from this little bank here. Okay. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just cheat the system. So I'm gonna just take this, right? So the F sharp F, and I'm gonna start that as like my counter, right? Um, now with this, we have articulations. So I just want you to know that. So if you put this on with MIDI channels, it maps it to the MIDI channel. So one would be this first uh, articulation and then all the way down until you get until the last one. OK, um, so I'm going to use some of those. Let's. Staccato. Okay, I want that to be a little smooth. Let's copy this over. I think that's pretty good. It's like a nice little repeating pattern. Um, now the reason I offset it is for bounce. So instead of starting it on the, the front, I offset it a bit. Um, that will create bounce later. And I'll show you. Um, because on the grid, off the grid. Because if you look at the big picture, this is off the grid, and this last note is on the grid, which creates bounce. And that's how you um, artificially create bounce, I guess. Um, so with this one. Let's go up and then let's take these, move them over. Okay, so I think that's good for the flute. It's pretty simple. Um, so what I want to do now is add some effects. 
um before we start going on because i want to make sure this sounds good so what i'm gonna do is add some effects i'm gonna show you what i added um and the thought process on that okay okay so i'm gonna just go over some of the quick effects i didn't really add too much um all this stuff is just default stuff that i have for the template um but this i just added stuff to the flute and bell um so for the bell this is what it sounds like now and then with the effects okay so of course we eq out the bass because we don't want it to clash with our 808 later and then i softened it up a bit by taking out some of the highs and then i use portal um and with this it's pretty much it's just kind of um just add some rhythm some movement to it um with you know of course like some panning and then to get this effect like that dark weird effect i just put it in reverse okay um, so those are like the type of effects that I used, right? And usually doing something like that or something similar will kind of create that vibe automatically because we could probably just use this, honestly, if if you wanted to just have a simple beat. Um, so for the flute, portal again, it's an easy plugin to use. Um, so we have this is just a default preset. And I thought this sounded cool on the flute. simple as that so now we can go ahead and add our guitar all right so next up we have our guitar here okay just a soft nylon uh, so i'm gonna steal i'm gonna take this copy it and we can paste it in here and then we can just offset this so i'm gonna do something like this and then we can just move the notes around okay um i probably should add that d sharp in and i think i have this muted there we go and we still are in a third grid by the way i don't want this to overpower i just wanted to add like some melodic um just some melodic to the melody Maybe move that. just kind of edit some of these I think that's fine and then we can just your variation doesn't need to be perfect and of course a looping little part here let's copy this and i'm gonna add like i kind of want these to kind of go together like a chord almost let's see I'm just keep it like that. Nah, I kind of like it like that. All right, so I'm going to keep it like this, okay? So now we can go ahead and add our drums. All right, so let's go ahead and start our 808 and our simple drums. Um, so I'm going to just throw in this little rim and we can kind of build on this. And then for the 808, we could try using the G sharp. Let's see. I think I'm gonna use the root method for this because I don't, because I think that'll be too low if we use this because I don't really like it going up like that. I'd rather go down. All right, it's way too low. So what I'm gonna do, do is just use the root and then we can, maybe right here, we can go down five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that should be a little bit better. And then we just add a little pattern. Let's do something like that. Okay, a little simple pattern. Um, and then we can just add on this. to edit the velocity of this. Okay, I think that's smooth. So now we can add our hi-hat and snare um, real quick. 
All right, so let's go ahead and add the last stuff, the hi-hat and the snare. Uh, so I'm just throwing something like this and then we can pull it over and then pull the velocity down. So it's a little, so it has a little rhythm to it. Oops. And then we can cut it here. And we just add like some, uh, let's go to one four. We can add some little chops in here. I guess we could just copy this. So what we're gonna do is just take these and it's just an easy way of just chopping it if you want the same chop. Okay, Alt U. And then from here, you can just edit them however you like. I'll probably just do something like that. Um, we can kind of highlight these and just pull it up until it hits this little point. You don't have to do this. I just like how it sounds usually. So, uh, and over here, we can just chop that down. And I even want this a little bit smaller. Okay, I like that. It's pretty smooth. Uh, we could probably turn this up a bit and then for the snare, let's just kind of throw it in as we go. And I'm going to go on one six for the chops. It's hard to get this velocity right. All right, that's just gonna have to do. All right, so that is our little beat. Make sure we can. Okay, so now let's play the whole thing with every instrument. So let's go. Alright, and that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.